Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Um, we both want Londoners to be able to trust the air they breathe. Um, and Londoners keep telling us all that they want clean air. It's really good that you're seeing pre-compliance. And in terms of complying with the tea charge, it's a small step, but it is that first important step on the way to getting the really tough regulation and having proper clean air. So um, thank you for that update. Um, I want to um, raise an issue. Um, I had a group of children come and visit me here at City Hall a couple of weeks ago from Bessemer Grange Primary School in Herne Hill. They're actually watching on the live stream right now. And Shiloh, Imogen, Oliver and Mark asked me to ask you to help them to cut pollution on their journey to school. They they are very worried about delays to Quiet Way 7 in the West Norwood area. So my question is, will you or your Walking and Cycling Commissioner help to mediate between the borough, Transport for London and local people to get Quiet Way 7 completed so Bessemer Grange children can help you clean up London's air by scooting, walking and cycling to school in safety? Well, can I say hello to Charlotte, Imogen and uh, Mark and all the pupils watching at Bessemer Grange Primary School. Actually, the idea of politicians getting ordinary uh, residents of London to have their questions asked is a cracking idea. I might suggest that to the leader of my party uh, to, 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 to do a Prime Minister's uh, questions. Look, uh, 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 the good news uh, to those pupils, uh, uh, Caroline, uh, and thanks for raising this very important issue, uh, is that my walking and cycling commissioner, uh, Dr. Will Norman, and uh, Transport for London had a very positive meeting with Councillor Braithwaite, uh, the Cabinet Member for the London Borough of uh, Lambeth, on the 22nd of September. And following that meeting, Councillor Braithwaite has confirmed support for design proposals on Quietway 7 in the West Norwood area. These will soon be published on the Lambeth website for public comment. Following this, uh, Lambeth will need to grant final scheme approval later this year for construction to begin in 2018. And we'll continue to work with uh, TfL, with uh, Lambeth, with uh, Assembly Member uh, Eshalomi, uh, and with anybody else who wants to make sure this is a successful uh, scheme. But thank you, Charlotte, Imogen and Mark, for raising this with uh, Caroline Russell. Thank you very much, Mr Mayor. I'm sure the children will be really, really excited about this. Um, uh, the uh, and when you can vote, when you're old enough, please vote for me. Or <laughs> <laughs> well, the person who raised their question, Mr Mayor. Um, uh, finally, um, you recently announced 50 air quality audits for primary schools in pollution hotspots. These audits are incredibly welcome, but there's another 350 schools on the list of the worst polluted places in London. Will you provide additional funding for these remaining schools to have audits in the next financial year? So, good question. So, we started with the 50 uh, to, to, to pilot them and see how successful they were going to be. We can't do it by ourselves. There's got to be local boroughs working with the schools, working with the parents and the local community. Um, and so, they're doing that. If it's successful, we'll try to encourage other boroughs to uh, use them with their schools as well. But just to be clear, we can't impose on schools and councils what to do here. Often they're not TFL roads, uh, we've got no locus. What we can do is working with councils uh, and schools. I visited a very good school in Islington uh, with uh, Councillor Claudia Webb. Uh, and a good example there of the school working with the council and the councillors to get improvements around there. And I'm willing to work with councils and schools to improve the air quality around their schools. That's great. Um, they will want a bit of money as well because the, the boroughs are all really cash strapped, but I'm out of time. Okay, so. Assemblymember Russell, thank you for that.